Pepper Award for Excellence in Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion for the Culture Club. KUAM News Headlines are presented by Calvo's Insurance, a legacy of trust. Serving Micronesia since 1938, Matson celebrating 25 years of commitment to Guam, Micronesia, and the CNMI. Cars Plus, Guam's leader in sustainability and electric vehicles. Learn more at carsplusguam.com. McDonald's of Guam, I'm loving it, and King's Restaurant, serving your local breakfast, lunch, and dinner favorites for over 45 years. Ahead on KUAM News Primetime, a former radio and marketing exec on the hook for fraud is sentenced to serve time in federal prison. The chief judge showing no mercy, hear what she had to say to him inside the courtroom. Plus, is it a sign that the pandemic is really coming to an end? Local health officials permanently putting a stop to the COVID-19 treatment services at the Paseo Stadium in Hagatnya. And preserving the tales told about the people in our islands, a look at the discussion during the 31st Pacific Islands Association of Libraries, Archives, and Museums. Hafe day and good evening, everyone. I'm Nick Delgado. Welcome to Primetime. $1.4 million. That's how much the feds argue ex-radio executive Evan Montville Cohen scammed multiple people and businesses out of in recent years. Montville Cohen hearing his fate in federal court today after admitting to two of the six schemes prosecutors uncovered. The chief judge not holding back during sentencing, calling him a serial thief and a serial liar. Six years and 10 months in federal prison, former radio and marketing executive Evan Montvel Cohen will serve that time locked up after admitting to charges of bank fraud and use of means of identification in furtherance of fraud. Ahead of the hearing, Montvel Cohen giving no comment to the case. Anything you want to say about today's sentencing? How are you feeling? Get the phone out. Inside Chief Judge Francis Tedinko Gatewood's courtroom, parties argued over the six schemes the feds alleged he was behind, scamming several out of $1.4 million. He only pleaded guilty to two of the schemes. The feds contend in one scheme, he used another man's identity to rent a home in Timwinning to have an affair, but never paid rent. The other, he offered a man a job at the advertising firm C2 Social in 2019 and sent the man a check to relocate to Guam, but the check bounced. Since the case unfolded, Montville Cohen has been going through medical issues with his heart and was hoping for leniency, telling the court, quote, I am very remorseful, embarrassed, and apologize deeply for my behavior. The chief judge telling him, you were trying to hide your relationship. That doesn't excuse you from entering into all these schemes, and you should know that. Shame on you. His schemes going back at least two decades... As KUM reported in May of 2009, he pleaded no contest to first-degree theft after being accused of stealing 62 grand from a Hawaii landscaping firm where he worked as a business manager in 2005. Years prior, he was one of the founders for Air America Talk Radio. That's when he allegedly transferred more than $800,000 from a nonprofit group, defending then he used the money for chemotherapy for his alleged brain cancer. The history, a concern for Tadinko Gatewood, who said, Clearly, you haven't learned because the extent of these crimes. You are a serial thief. You are a serial liar. The chief judge adding, You clearly can't be trusted out there with anybody else's money, and clearly not your own. Montville Cohen was allowed to leave the courthouse and will self-surrender to the U.S. Bureau of Prisons within the next month. He asked to be held at the Federal Medical Center, Butner, North Carolina, due to his medical issues. Montville Cohen would also serve five years supervised release and pay the victims restitution. Now to the deadly shooting case heard in local court today. 30-year-old Janice Tabata appearing before Magistrate Judge Jonathan Kwan to answer to the charges in the indictment handed down against him. Tabata was arrested for murder and aggravated assault in the deadly shooting of Edward Bamba outside a Dededo home. During today's hearing, both the public defender and alternate public defender had to withdraw from representing Tabata Due to conflicts, the court appointing attorney Terrence Timbaland to the case. Tabata will now have to wait till December 20th to be arraigned. He remains locked up on 250000 Police were called to Southern High School Monday following a threat made at the Santa Rita campus. The incident occurs. Court documents state pairs showed up to the school talking to witnesses about gang-related activity when he suddenly pulled out a knife taking an attack stance. 
Perez allegedly telling one person at the school, quote, I want to kill someone. That person told police the Paris suffers from PTSD. Paris is charged with terrorizing and harassment, along with a special allegation for use of a deadly weapon. A father and son accused in brutally beating a teenage boy in Manila have been released from prison. 50-year-old Jeffrey Garcia and 23-year-old Jeremiah Garcia each face charges of assault. Both were released from the Department of Corrections on a $1,000 personal recognizance bond. The magistrate's judge ordering them to stay away from and have no contact with the alleged victim. As KUM reported, it was a case of mistaken identity. The pair, along with a third man, identified in police records as Jonah Garcia, allegedly chased after and beat the team. They believed he was responsible in a theft that occurred at their home. The attack caught on cell phone video. Authorities later made the arrest after confirming the boy did not commit a crime. The Garcias are back in court on January 11th. Putting the case in his rear view, Director of Policy and Communications for the Legislative Vice Speaker and Executive Director for the Democratic Party of Guam, Shirag Bujwani, pleaded guilty to Superior Court today. Bujwani admitting to reckless driving while impaired as a petty misdemeanor. He won't be serving any jail time, but will have to perform community service. He told Judge Vernon Paris today he was hit by another car that night before his encounter with police back in March. Court documents stating he had an open container, his blood alcohol content twice the legal limit. Switching over to health news now, the monoclonal antibody treatment clinic in Paseo Stadium now permanently closed. The MAB treatment was used throughout the pandemic, helping high-risk residents fight off the severe symptoms of COVID-19. The MAB clinic closed down due to the treatment. Beblatomov uh, no longer having emergency use authorization by the FDA. Though the infusion treatment was pulled, there are still other treatment alternatives available on island. That's according to Public Health's Grace Berdalio. We do have two oral medications available, and they're available through a prescription from your physician or from a pharmacist. And that's the antiviral oral tablet called Paxlovid or the antibody um, tablet called Monoparavir. And those are the two alternatives that are available here in Guam as treatment for COVID-19. To get one of the COVID pills, a prescription is needed from your primary care physician. Public Health urging anyone who's feeling sick or unwell to get a COVID test right away so they know whether or not if they need the antiviral pill. The CDC reports the spread of RSV across the nation is peaking and with the flu season off to a rather rough start, it's a triple pandemic along with COVID-19. Mitsuki Hiriyama spoke with local health department as we recognize National Influenza Vaccination Week. Respiratory viruses are a triple threat this holiday season. RSV, influenza, and COVID-19. It's a maelstrom hard to navigate as the symptoms are so similar. Public Health's Borough of Communicable Disease Control Administrator Annette Uggen says our efforts to protect the community from COVID-19 changed the patterns of RSV and the flu. I think people are hearing from the states, oh, there's this triple uh, pandemic, right, or triple, uh, the concern of this triple threat, and it's true. COVID-19 has really uh, changed a lot of the regular patterns we would see with RSV and flu. And again, RSV and flu has been around. It's nothing new. It's why this National Influenza Vaccination Week, health officials say it is all the more important to be educated and vaccinated against the flu. I can never say it enough. Get immunized Guam. Uh, for, for young children who've never had the vaccine, you know, the infants and stuff, they, the minimum age is six months of age. It is a proven vaccine. As for navigating what illness is which, she recommends monitoring your child as illness progresses and don't wait until it's too late to seek medical attention. And she leaves us with this message. And I know for our culture, we love to kiss the babies and hug the babies, but please, uh, Please protect the young ones. We don't know what we're having, what we're spreading to them. They can't tell us what's wrong with them. They, they can only cry. Uh, so again, by all means, prevention first, you know, and uh, to get immunized, please. Matsuki Hirayama, KUAM News. Thanks, Matsuki, for that report. We have more news coming up. Keep it here. You're watching KUAM. Get up-to-the-minute news, plus access to alerts, streaming radio, promotions, and more on your mobile device by downloading the KUAM News mobile app, available at the App Store now.
And there you have it, McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich. From the makers of the world's most stolen fries. The juicy chicken sandwich from the place that offers extra napkins for a reason. The tender chicken sandwich from the creators of a sandwich phenomenon. So you won't just be biting into a chicken sandwich. You'll be biting into McDonald's new crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Are you ready for more? Introducing GTA 5G. More speed. Experience fast 5G speeds while streaming video, gaming online, or downloading files. More reliable. Guam's most reliable network with more 5G coverage than the competitors. More value. All GTA postpaid wireless customers get 5G access for free. GTA 5G. 5G done right. My name is Leonza Salvage and I have a four-year-old daughter who goes to lots of learning daycare. So with the rising cost of living, it helps tremendously with bills. I don't have to worry about paying for childcare services. Knowing that this program is offered to our people, most especially our children, I think something to definitely be grateful for. I learned about Program in Penelin from the mayor's offices here. And uh, my initial reaction to the program, I was actually in disbelief that this program offered free childcare services to our people. I wanted to give my mom a break for a little bit. So when I found out about the program, I jumped right on it. I was relieved because childcare at no cost. I'm thankful for this program because I don't have to worry about an extra set of bills coming my way. I'm grateful to the governor, the lieutenant governor, everyone behind the scenes that made this happen. Need help paying for childcare? Guam families can receive financial support through Programan Pinilan. Learn more and apply at guamchildcare.com. When you're built for tailgating, you're built for winning. Winning at storage. Winning at parking. Winning at technology. Winning at comfort. Winning at... Winning. What you need to know from the Northern Marianas. Follow KUAM Cinema on Instagram for the latest regional headlines. Welcome back. Well, the spiritual leader of Guam's Catholic Church, Archbishop Michael Burns, remains on extended medical leave off island. The Archdiocese is asking parishioners to continue to pray for the Archbishop, but did not provide any details on his condition. In a statement, Vicar General Romeo Canovar says his office is charged with the pastoral and administrative needs of the church in the archbishop's absence. He adds that they maintain communication with the papal nuncio and with the apostolic delegate to the Pacific Islands, the archbishop Novatus Ragumboa, and will provide updates on any developments. Gulf Guam retirees should be getting a $500 increase in their annual cost of living allowances over the next four years. Currently, they receive a $2,000 annual COLA, Senator Amanda Shelton's bill, would raise it by $200 this fiscal year and $100 a year over the next three years for a total of $200,500. During session, Senator Tello Tadegui discussed with Retirement Fund Director Paula Blas about how the local COLA is not based on the specific formula but is more subject to the whims of political leaders. I think we should just move leaders. that out of the, the equation here and start using methodology and equations that are more correct to those who are in a fixed income on this island. It started out as uh, 1800 and then, and that was for a few years, it dropped to 1100 and that was kind of, you know, st uh, stagnant for a while. And then one year it actually dropped to $750. That's right. Afternoon, Senator Tidegui objected because the amended bill did not identify a required funding source. Senators then recessed until Wednesday morning. The Pacific Islands are full of storytellers and the keepers of those stories in libraries, archives, and museums from across Oceania are meeting in Saipan this week to discuss preserving our stories. Regional correspondent Tomas Mingwatnya reports. Saipan is hosting representatives for the 31st Pacific Islands Association of Libraries, Archives and Museums Conference this week. It is important that we continue to collaborate, communicate and strengthen our connection in the Pacific. We are excited to reestablish the pathways for our Pacific Island communities 
to learn, achieve, succeed, share ideas. The origins of the organization trace back to the NMI in 1990, and it has since grown into a vast network for resource sharing. This year, they are focused on strengthening those connections as they discuss the future of public libraries. First Lady Diane Torres delivered the keynote speech, highlighting the work her foundation does to empower young authors across the islands and the state of the NMI's own museums and libraries. The museum and the libraries in the CNMI continue to build, develop, and enhance with time. The Jotun Kizu Public Library on all three islands in the span of 10 years have grown its catalog by over 4,000 books. Yes. The Saipan Museum has been transformed into the state-of-the-art museum that now holds almost 5,000 artifacts. The resources available to us in our lifetime will determine who we are, how we think, and how we approach. The closing ceremony where cultural gifts will be exchanged is set for Wednesday night. Tomas Manglonia for KUAM News on Saipan. The authority, better known as Gora, celebrating its 60th year anniversary. The administration celebrating Gora's history during a proclamation signing recently at Adeloupe, proclaiming December as Gora Appreciation Month. Gura Executive Director Elizabeth Napoli sharing that Gura was established in 1962 after Typhoon Karen devastated over 90% of the island's homes. I was only eight years old and have vivid memories of the devastation and havoc Typhoon Karen wreaked on my family and the lives of families across the island who were faced with the complete loss of their homes as well as the businesses and the government agencies that sustained them. But it was in the aftermath of the crisis that led to the improvement of Guam's housing and infrastructure. It's why the administration is recognizing Gura's continued efforts to provide adequate housing. Thank you also for your innovation. You've been uh, uh, transforming the way that you manage public housing, that you enable affordable rental housing, uh, that you've been addressing homelessness, uh, trying to eliminate the risk of homelessness for so many people. Lieutenant Governor Joshua Tenorio also recognizing the agency's patience as they serve the thousands of frustrated people still on the waiting list. The Toys for Tots program received a big donation to grab more gifts for the island's children. Daniel Perez was at Macy's catching the Marines as they went shopping with the mission to make a child happy this holiday season. With the season of giving and joy almost at its peak, the Toys for Toss drive continues to get more and more donations each and every day. This time around, a generous gift of $3,000 worth of toys was given to the toy drive. But what makes this special? It's coming directly from a place that you can call every child's dream, a toy store. Macy's Guam store manager, Ryan Torres. Legos, we're looking at Nerf, we're looking at Barbie, Mattel. Uh, Fisher Price, we have it all, man, to give back to the kids who are really going to enjoy this holiday season as they smile and unwrap their present as to what this gift is about and giving back. The Toys for Tots program is a special one, and it's spearheaded by members of the United States Marine Corps. The program aims to give to children and families in need, so every child has a present to unwrap on Christmas morning. Toys for Tots coordinator for Guam and the CNMI, Gunnery Sergeant Ruben Tan. This year we were able to partner with Macy's and they were able to give us $3,000 to go on a shopping spree. And then on top of that, we're also spending another $3,000 to match that. Uh, so we're spending a total of $6,000 on toys this year. In 2021, the Toys for Tots program received more than 6,000 toys. Officials hope to surpass that number this year. For those wanting to donate, you still have time as the program wraps up this Saturday, December 10th. Donation boxes are located throughout the island to include at our KUAM studios in Harmon. Your nearest toy box is just one click away. See the full list on Marine Corps Base Camp Blaz's Facebook page. Daniel Perez, KUAM News. Thank you, Daniel, for that report. Now for a look at your world at home. Here's a view captured from the Onward Talafofo Golf Club, a gorgeous sunny day there teeing off from the sixth hole. The Guam National Weather Service predicting Wednesday will bring more clouds in our skies, 20% chance of rain.
Fast, fun, and easy. That's how your home Wi-Fi should be. So start with an internet plan that fits your budget. Introducing your home Wi-Fi starter pack, also known as WISP. Enjoy up to 25 megabits per second for as low as $35 a month, plus a free router with your wireless subscription. That's hours of movies, games, social media, and more endless fun. Get your Wi-Fi starter pack today only at Docomo Pacific. Better together. Additional conditions may apply. Do you ever wonder how your favorite products make their way into your local stores? Most arrive on state-of-the-art mats and vessels that transport containers of food, household items, equipment, and supplies into the islands every week. Because we know that you depend on us, we work closely with our partners to ensure that our shipments arrive on time, all the time, so you can find your favorite products when you need them. We transport the region's most precious cargo that supports successful businesses and promotes a better quality of life for our families. Matson is proud to have been the hometown shipping carrier for Guam, the CNMI, and Micronesia for the past 25 years. And you can count on us to be here for generations to come. Following U.S. President Joe Biden's launch of the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework for Prosperity, Taiwan seeks to join the initiative and support its pillars through the local Taipei Economic and Cultural Office, or TECO, here in Guam. Taiwan is in Pacific Region too. We want to join this framework. We want to be a team player. We want to contribute. We want to have your support too. Taiwan's contribution through IPEF will definitely offer solid and long-term assistance to the stability and prosperity of the economy of the United States and its allies. I truly um, personally believe that the collaboration that we have with Taiwan has been very, very successful and we will continue to collaborate and advocate for each other's successes. We had to work together share the same goal, work as a team, and we will succeed. KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. What's up, Guam? Dave Delgado here for KUAM Sports. Thanks for watching. We start the show off tonight with some boys. High school rugby from the GRFU East League played at the UOG field. Check it out. The Guam High Panthers taken to the field to face the GW Geckos, both teams with four and two records entering the contest. GW's Isaiah Hayes goes in for the first try of the game right before the first half came to an end. The kick after attempt was good. Geckos ahead seven to zero. Guam High's Cameron Brantley was all gas, no breaks. Brantley weaving through the defense on his way in for the score. Panthers would miss the kick after a temp and trail 7-5. Terrell Rosario put the Panthers up 10-7 after he went in for the try. Rosario gets to the outside and dives in the try zone for five points. Guam High missed the kick. Connor Leon Guerrero put the Geckos back ahead 12 to 10 after he was able to get in the try zone. Kick after attempt by GW was no good as they held on to the 12 10 lead. GW looking to add to the scoreboard. Marcelo Blas out and running. Blows by the defenders, making his way towards the try zone. Panthers defense wasn't having it. Benjamin Harris seals the deal for Guam High going in for the last try of the game. Panthers held on for the win 17 to 12 after the successful kick after attempt. In other games, the Father Duenas Friars beat out the JFK Islanders 24 to 0 to stay undefeated. The Ukudu Bulldogs picked up the win over the Southern High Dolphins 19 to 10. The Simon Sanchez Sharks won their game against the Teason High Titans 36 to 5.
The University of Guam baseball team advanced to the finals of the winner's bracket in the Guam Amateur Baseball League playoffs with a 6-1 victory against the Cardinals at the Triple J Baseball Complex at Ukudu High School. UOG will play the Braves on Saturday at 3 in the afternoon. The winner reaching the finals of the Guam Amateur League Championship. UOG is now 7-3 in the Amateur League. KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. When we face an uncertain path, when we struggle with life's challenges, and when the unexpected happens, it's a beautiful day. We rely on the people we trust, oh, oh, oh. It's a beautiful who we can always count on. It's a beautiful day. and the ones who give us the most care throughout the years. Rely on Calvo's Select Care to give you the comfort and security you need it's a beautiful day. wherever you are. Federal employees and annuitants enroll today. Howdy, folks. Nobody loves a Guam potluck more than I do. That's why I always bring my world-famous chicken served any way you like it. Original recipe, extra crispy tenders, Kentucky Fried Wings, and more. Hmm. All right. And nothing completes a meal like KFC's signature sides. Hot mashed potatoes with gravy, coleslaw, and a flaky biscuit. The world's favorite chicken right here on the island and only at KFC Guam. Whoops. Well, it is finger looking good. Finally tonight, your Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club shout-out submitted on KUAM.com. Bob John Kanata, happy 52nd birthday to a loving, caring youngest brother. Love from your sis, Carmen, John, and the family. And they say, please be safe and have a wonderful, blessed birthday. And they say, we love and miss you, brother. Well, Pablo Mendiola, happy birthday to everyone's favorite winner. Love from the Claros family. And belated birthday wishes going out to Sean Kinata, who was born on December the 5th. We love you, Uncle Sean. And that's your Tuesday primetime show. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Nick Delgado. Stay safe and good night. KUAM News Hotspot is brought to you by... Pacific Points, Do More, Get More, and Calvo Enterprises, Inc. We are, there you go, a little bit of uh, sleight of hand for you. Jason Salas here, and this is The Hot Spot. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Happy holidays to all of you, no matter where you're streaming us from. From our Harmon Studios, let's go. The Menu, brought to you by King's Restaurant. Always open, always local. And Ruby Tuesday Guam, home of the fresh garden bar. From the local healthcare front, testing for monkeypox can now be done on the island. From the mainland, the Supreme Court heard arguments on another clash between LGBTQ and business owners' rights. We're also continuing our showcase of local businesses with 25 days of shopping local. Today, we bring our friends from Kingfisher's Noni in studio. And Liz and Gina are joining me later for Remax Diamond Realty, House to Home, coming at you later on. But right off the top, Public Health's lab can now test for monkeypox. Daniel Perez has the latest with public health officials from the testing site. The Guam Public Health Laboratory received approval from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to test for monkeypox on island. The service is available to hospitals and clinics in Guam to help increase MPOX testing capacity. Now that we can test for the disease on Guam, we no longer need to send samples off island and wait for the results. The MPOX lab is run by four laboratory personnel, all of whom are vaccinated against the disease. Public Health Microbiologist 3, Alan Malari. What's at the back of me is the extraction room. So this is where we're going to 
uh, extract all those specimens for monkeypox. We have four uh, uh, PUI uh, uh, specimens before that we were sent off island, but at this time we can perform it here in the island. We don't have case right now and we are ready to accept all specimen right now. The four specimens tested today in the lab originated from the island a couple months back. Those suspected before that we sent it to Hawaii State Lab are from this island, one from the military and two from uh, clinics and one from a government agencies. And they're all negative for the testing. Residents who feel like they contracted the virus or know somebody who may have, they are urged to contact their primary doctor and from there, the testing will begin. They'll give them instructions how they do, they'll be screened for the testing. Uh, Guam Public Health Laboratory uh, sent out a guidelines on how to collect from the physicians to the uh, patients, uh, patient uh, under investigations. So the territorial epidemiology that uh, Dr. Ann Pabutsky will screen if the patient is qualified and meet the guidelines for uh, testing for a monkeypox. And if they don't qualify, here's what patients can do. Now, if they did not pass the testing or criteria, then the clinicians have options to send it to the private lab. And there are two main lab in the United States that are granted to do the testing too. So the private lab will send it to the mainland laboratory. Daniel Perez, KUAM News. All right, everybody, time for a little break. But when we come back, our week-long cavalcade. 25 days of shopping local continues, and we introduce you to yet another local vendor who has amazing products that you are definitely going to want to put underneath somebody's tree. That's after this. I can't make that amount work right now. Mom, what is it? Can I get new basketball shoes? We'll see. Can I please have $20 for my field trip? I don't know. Can I go to my friend's house after school? We're all trying our best to make ends meet. The governor's child care programs are helping businesses and working families care for Guam's kids. This ad is paid for with funds administered by the Department of Public Health and Social Services. Visit GuamChildCare.com to apply today. Guam's auto appearance specialist, Elegant Reflections, has been providing the automotive industry with professional detailing and car care products at its highest quality from complete detailing, full interior detailing, exterior detailing, headlamp restoration, hand washing, seat and carpet shampoo, engine degreasing, undercarriage cleaning, paint sealant, fabric protection, paint oxidation removal, and so much more. Visit us at our new location. Call 646-5555 for an appointment. Elegant Reflections, Guam's auto appearance specialist. Over 20 years of experience. Calling all those who must love Christmas. There's nothing that can brighten spirits more than the beauty of Christmas decor and holiday lights. And KUAM News wants to showcase them all. Send us your photos of your decorations via messenger, direct message, or email to promotions at KUAM.com and we may feature them. Decorations and displays will be highlighted in social media posts every Friday in December on the social media platforms of KUAM News and showcased in a weekly montage on KUAM News Primetime presented by Coast 360 Federal Credit Union. Together we thrive. And don't forget to watch the CBS holiday movie Must Love Christmas on KUAM TV 11 this December. On September 19th, 2022, Pacific Telestation's LLC, licensee of station KUAM-TV, Hagatna, Guam, filed an application with the Federal Communications Commission for renewal of license. Members of the public wishing to view an application or obtain information about how to file comments and petitions on the application can visit publicfiles.fcc.gov and search in the public file for KUAM-TV. Watch Mariana's artists, activists, and visionaries and their quest to protect, preserve, and promote our Chamorro culture on The Culture Club, a weekly feature on KUAM News Digital Platform and the KUAM News Weekend Edition. Culture Club is brought to you by Tropical Ice, the purest, cleanest ice in Guam. The Culture Club, winner of the 2022 Regional Edward R. Murrow Award for Excellence in Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. Get the latest updates and breaking news across the region by following KUAM CNMI on Instagram. Regional correspondent Tomas Maglotnia brings what you need to know from the Northern Marianas at the palm of your hand. Full stories, daily updates, and snapshots of the beauty across the Marianas. Follow KUAM CNMI now. LFG! A monthly love letter to all the amazing things happening on this island we call home. From adventures to hidden treasures. To the familiar things we know and love. Love for Guam. It's your monthly ticket to the best Guam has to offer. So, LFG! 
Watch LFG on the last Thursday of every month, presented by Pepsi. That's what I like. Subscribe to our KYM News Digest, our weekly email newsletter with all kinds of information straight to your inbox. Just subscribe and we'll make sure to keep you informed and entertained with news from the KYM News team, what to watch on NBC and CBS, and the latest promotions from KUAM Communications. Go to KUAM.com, click on the newsletter tab at the top of the homepage, register, and you're all set. Brought to you by Uno Go, Guam On Demand. 18 days of holiday shopping remain, my friends. Welcome back to the hotspot, and we are bringing you 25 days of shopping local where we shine the spotlight very deservedly on some of our island's most unique gifts that are sure to be the perfect gift for someone on your list. Today, we are featuring our friends at King Fisher's Noni. Joy Asantas is here, a fellow northern girl. I, 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 got, I got to give it up for like my people from the north. So, half a day? Half a day. Yeah, you, uh, you guys are located in Upper Tumon. Um, you've got these wonderful products that you've uh, brought with us today. Kingfisher's Noni is, uh, I'm, think, I'm seeing candles, uh, aromatherapy. Is this lip balm too? Yes. Okay. Yeah, please tell us all about, all about your company for people that may not know and what kind of products you have. So Kingfisher's Noni, we actually have two brand lines. Our main line, the Kingfisher's Noni, which is our health and skincare. Um, we also do soap, shampoo, Noni juice, and tea. And then our Kokoni line is more of our souvenir line, coconut-based. Uh, we do oils soy candle, wax tablet, uh, perfume sticks also. Nice. So I guess this would be categorized under, you know, like a self-care, wellness. Yes, um, very feeling, much so. Yeah, feeling good about yourself. Um, are there any products, I'll just ask like right off the top and everything, are there ones that just like fly off the shelves and like everybody's always asking about it? They DM you guys on Instagram and said, I got to get more of that. Well, I want to say that sort of depends on what uh, customer base we're looking at. Locals, okay. we see like uh, Noni juice and Noni tea. Mm -hmm. um, and then for our tourist customers, they really gravitate towards the souvenir type stuff. Um, we also have Body Bomb. Um, we have a lot of customers who use that for any sort of skin issue, uh, bug bites, um, minor scrapes and burns, uh, cuts, even uh, we have a few customers who like to use it for eczema. Okay. So, yeah. A lot of the stuff that, you know, is sort of prevalent around here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now I'm noticing this, Joy, um, and if I may, yes, is this already? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a soy candle. Yes. What makes a soy candle so distinct? I, I, I admit I've never like heard of like a soy candle. So uh, this just uses uh, soy wax, so it's a lot um, more healthy. Uh, not, not, I shouldn't say healthy, but it's more natural, right? So I was going to say that's wax. beautiful. <laughs> I mean, if, if a scent can indeed like have, you know, I wish we had smell a vision. I'll, uh, Pete and I, Pete Anderson from Santa Rita, we're going to work on that and everything. I'm really, really loving the scent of this, Joy, because I mean, it's... This one is our hibiscus. Yes. Oh, hibiscus. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's very, very light. It's not, it's not dominating. It's not overpowering. And I can see if I put this like in a room as, as diminutive as it is and everything like that, it's going to add, you know, um, personality soothing are there emotions that necessarily uh, go along with this so this one our hibiscus is our passion um relaxation Ooh. yeah <laughs> Yee, this, see so, i picked a saucy one <laughs> uh plumeria is like a relaxation uh ah. scent and then guava is more for like refreshing okay so there is a little bit of you know like um i guess aromatherapy like theory behind this you, you have a yes. certain scent and everything it is going to deliver and maybe elicit a specific response for you if you, right. if you put this yeah. in your room okay do people ever like kind of like mix and match or have like, you know, like maybe hibiscus during the daytime and, you know. I would say it just sort of depends on their mood, right? Like mm. if they're feeling um, stressed or they might do the plumeria to mm. relax. That one for, you know, different situations if you're feeling in the mood. <laughs> you're probably gonna wanna put this at night, you know, <laughs> yeah. maybe in the bedroom. <laughs> um, it's not just um, products that you offer uh, for the butt. This is also tea. Right. Okay. Yes. So this one is our loose tea and then we have them in tea bags like this. Um, but these are made from noni leaves. So noni itself has antioxidant and antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. So the fruit itself is where you get most of the nutrients, but the leaves carry the properties as well. So we take the leaf and we dry it and it's easy to drink. <laughs> okay. So, and that, that is, and, and you know, antioxidant, um, um, materials and ingredients known to uh, hopefully stave off cancer, uh, keep you free, in increase, you know, um, uh, vascular health, 
Right. Uh, your blood's going to flow good through your system. We like to say that it, you know, it helps to boost your immune system, especially now, right, with COVID and okay. everything else that's going around. It's like you always want to take care of yourself from the inside out. So right. the tea and the juice is sort of geared towards that to okay. make sure that you. Real quick, last question, I swear. Um, is this tea, because I'm, I'm definitely going to pick up some of this, is this something that I should maybe have as like afternoon post-lunch tea when I get back to my desk, or should I have this maybe before I go to sleep and then let the, the natural properties of the ingredients kind of work their magic? You overnight. can actually have this all day. It's caffeine-free, so you can take it at night too to help if you have insomnia issues to help you sleep, but oh. it's good for any time of the day. Okay. Okay, final, <laughs> final question. Is there anything that your company cannot do? <laughs> Can you guys well, fix the economy? Because that's kind of like... Uh, in you the... know what? I wish. <laughs> okay. Definitely working on it, though. Okay, so um, where can people find you on social media if they want to avail of any of these amazing products that you've just given us a snapshot of today? <laughs> so uh, we are Kingfishers Noni Guam on Instagram and Facebook. Um, and then we also have our website, kingfishersnoni.com. Yeah. Um, for our products in-store, you can find us at DFS, ABC, JP... Um, and then most of the hotel gift shops as well. Excellent. Well, the Kingfisher, of course, you know, is a wonderful symbol of our island culture. And Kingfisher's Noni is a wonderful line of products that you really, really need to check out for yourself and the people that you will be blessing with uh, Christmas gifts. Joy, well done. <laughs> Thank you so much. Shout out to Jigo. One, <laughs> one of our and Northern people. We're, we're, we're <laughs> going to go talk about how wonderful Jigo and Dedido are during this commercial break. But please stay tuned. Get up-to-the-minute news, plus access to alerts, streaming radio, promotions, and more on your mobile device by downloading the KUAM News mobile app, available at the App Store now. What's the move? When you're built for tailgating, you're built for winning. Winning at storage. Winning at parking. Winning at technology. Winning at comfort. Winning at winning. Half a day. Hi. That will be $20, please. I forgot my mobile Smiles Drivers Rewards card. No worries. You can now use your registered mobile number to earn points. Can I use my mobile number to redeem rewards? Sure. Just show us your photo ID or driver's license. That's easy. KUAM Communication is your home for star-studded entertainment from America's top networks. From specials, concerts, award shows, and can't-miss red carpet moments. It's all on KUAM TV 8 and KUAM TV 11. Check KUAM.com and our social media pages for showtimes and schedules. Network specials on KUAM Communications are brought to you locally by King's Restaurants, Ruby Tuesday Guam, and Docomo Pacific. Calling all those who must love Christmas. There's nothing that can brighten spirits more than the beauty of Christmas decor and holiday lights. And KUAM News wants to showcase them all. Send us your photos of your decorations via messenger, direct message, or email to promotions at KUAM.com and we may feature them. Decorations and displays will be highlighted in social media posts every Friday in December on the social media platforms of KUAM News and showcased in a weekly montage on KUAM News Primetime presented by Coast 360 Federal Credit Union. Together we thrive. And don't forget to watch the CBS holiday movie Must Love Christmas on KUAM TV 11 this December. Properties in the Tropics is your weekly roundup of the hottest properties on Guam. Every Thursday, get a virtual walkthrough of homes, apartments, townhomes, and land available for lease, rent, or sale. With a breakdown of the most important info, including costs, features, and of course, location details. Watch it on KO News Hotspot at 11 a.m. on streaming and TV8 or catch the Encore at 5 p.m. on TV11. You can also check out each installment on Instagram too. Properties in the Tropics is presented by Remax Diamond Realty. 
Join us in saluting those making strides and serving in our armed forces every Tuesday on the KUAM News Instagram account. These weekly posts round up profiles of Guamanians receiving accolades in the armed forces. Those stationed on Guam making a difference in our community and veterans being recognized for their service. Presented by Future Smiles Orthodontics. Build a brighter future with a brighter smile. Get up to the minute news plus access to alerts, streaming radio, promotions and more on your mobile device by downloading the KUAM News mobile app available at the App Store now. House to Home, presented by Remax Diamond Realty. This multi-generational home, uh, Gina, you actually brought up this topic. This, this is kind of a, uh, your baby this week. But multi-generational homes have always been such a big part of, um, almost like of the Guam experience, because, you know, we've got such a familial-centric uh, structure and everything. But you're actually bringing to light uh, some perspectives that not a lot of people would maybe consider about um, maybe both pro and con about what could happen with multi-generational households, right? Well, we, we wanted to discuss it today just because, you know, we can see that in the future, it, I mean, it's been happening for the last year, but we can see that this is going to be a critical need issue. Um, you know, there's a lot of families here who can't afford to separately rent on their own or purchase on their own. And we're really, we really, what we want to talk about are the families that are trying to buy a home that has maybe a studio attached to it, or they, on their existing property, they have the ability, you know, the means to build a studio so that maybe, uh, like, maybe my son might want to move in and I want to build a studio attached to my home mm -hmm. so my son and his family could live there. Yeah, Liz, what makes it so difficult, I guess, from a public policy standpoint, because either, you know, if you have to extend your, I mean, you know, well, build, because a lot of people say like, okay, well, I have an outside kitchen, which many people here do, but at what point does it stop being an outside kitchen and become like an extension or an actual house attached to a house? Well, there are homes out there that people have extended and either have rented it out or have had additional family members in. But because of our current market condition and the rise in interest rates, as Gina puts it, people are looking for homes. So if, let's say, a family of two siblings and their individual families, but just remember, first of all, culturally, we take care of our elderly. Mm -hmm. So if I'm looking for a home, um, and then I, I can't afford it, then I may drag in my mom and my dad to sign on the loan, as well as a sibling, so that three of us, for example, could have a home where three families can live. So there are a number of things that could happen if I bought a home and three families, separate families are living in the home. It handles taking care of mom and dad because they're elderly, but one of the things you could think about is renovation. So you're going to have to find a home that's doable, for example, where mom and dad can have their little private entryway and they feel um, secure in their privacy. And then my sibling and I can have our, our separate areas, uh, but then we're living in the same structure. So when you buy a home, again, um, we're talking about the uh, financial ability to buy a home. So if three families got together, just bear in mind, you're linked together. So if we went to the bank, all maybe me and my sibling, my sibling and I have the financial ability to buy together. And then mom and dad can live with us. Um, and that makes it happen because our strength in number is the two finances. So we go to the bank, we're able to do this. Would but that be co-signing? Also, you could co-sign, yes. Okay. But just bear in mind that as time progresses, if let's say I wanted to part ways to go buy somewhere else, I'm going to have to settle it among my sibling, my, my sister, for example, that she has to buy me out. And then I have to work with the bank so that they um, release me from that mortgage or I'm stuck with that mortgage. Right. You see what I'm saying? That, 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 that debt's on your books. <laughs> Exactly. It's in the books. But I think what Gina and I wanted to focus on mostly is the ability to buy. So you can buy and the strength of two separate family individuals, you can make that happen. And then you can have at least during this crazy period, 
have a home to accommodate families. So when I was in Orlando and then this meeting I was just in in, in uh, Philadelphia, that's a common discussion now across the nation that people are unable to afford buying a home individually that now multi-generational the families are getting together to make it happen this used to happen years ago and then of course that changed but now it looks like we're going back to that trend because you can't right now it's difficult to afford the current prices uh, at the basic income people are making right now <sighs> well the other thing we, we you, would, you, guys, uh, you guys are both the santa yeah. clauses of, of good real estate information well, not only that, Jason, if we were to give you advice, anyone who comes to us, it would be advice that I would do or I would take. It's kind of like when we have clients, we won't have them go down a direction that we ourselves would not do. Right. So we would uh, advise the way we would handle it personally, because we wouldn't want to give bum advice, regardless of where it leads you. You know what I mean? Exactly. Well, I know there is one thing that we can definitely count on is that there are outside kitchens on Guam and they're all awesome. And I've never been to an outside kitchen on Guam ladies that didn't have like the little, the little cutoff extension of hose that they, that they hook onto the faucet yes. to make it run better. And, and if that thing is dripping, by the way, tie on the bandana to it. And that always takes care of it. <laughs> That's right. All right, ladies. Thank you hey, so much. Happy I'll... holidays as always. Happy holidays. All right, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. MTO Maintenance will now completely sanitize your home, office, or business with state-of-the-art commercial sprayers. For over 30 years, MTO Maintenance has been committed to the health and safety of our customers. And now, more than ever, a clean home, office, carpets, and furniture is a necessity to our island. Give us a call today. Stay healthy and stay safe, Guam. Call 647-6861 for an appointment. My name is Leonza Selvage, and I have a four-year-old daughter who goes to lots of learning daycare. So with the rising cost of living, it helps tremendously with bills. I don't have to worry about paying for childcare services. Knowing that this program is offered to our people, most especially our children, I think it's something to definitely be grateful for. I learned about programming Penelin from the mayor's offices here and uh, my initial reaction to the program, I was actually in disbelief that this program offered free childcare services to our people. I wanted to give my mom a break for a little bit, so when I found out about the program, I jumped right on it. I was relieved because childcare at no cost. I'm thankful for this program because I don't have to worry about an extra set of bills coming my way. I'm grateful for the governor, the lieutenant governor, everyone behind the scenes that made this happen. Need help paying for child care? Guam families can receive financial support through Programan Pinilan. Learn more and apply at guamchildcare.com. Oh yeah, we need these, no? You know what we do need? Absolutely needed these. Introducing Taco Bell's new seven layer nacho fries. Hello, I'm Gunnery Sergeant Ruben Tan from Marine Corps Base Camp Blas. Personally asking you to join me in supporting the Marine Corps Toys for Tots program by collecting new and unwrapped toys for children this year. Toys for Tots program, now in its 13th year on island, has partnered with the Chamber of Commerce, Madsen Navigation Company, Catholic Social Services, and the Salvation Army to make this holiday season a time to remember for kids and teens throughout Guam. You may drop off your new and unwrapped toys between now and December 10th in any of our boxes throughout Guam or at the KOAM studio. We ask that when purchasing this year, please also remember gifts for older children and young teenagers. On behalf of the U.S. Marine Corps and the KUAM Care Force, we thank you for coming together and sharing the spirit of this holiday season. KUAM Digital presents a series highlighting the wide array of talents on our island. Whether they're a standout gamer, extreme athlete, performer, or have a unique skill to show off, we're showcasing them every month on Wow Factor. Brought to you by Mountain Dew. Do the do. As we celebrate the Christmas season, let's not forget about our youngest and most vulnerable in need. There are over 600 children in foster care on Guam in need of your love and support. 
As a companion to the 24th annual CBS special, the KUAM Care Force presents a special Home for the Holidays edition of Hotspot. This special will feature uplifting stories of foster families and children, a look at the state of foster care on Guam, and the people and organizations making a difference in their lives. We'll also feature a special holiday performance in studio. The special edition of Hotspot will premiere on broadcasts and streaming platforms on December 21st at 11 a.m. tomorrow Standard Time. Check KUAM.com schedules for additional showtimes. Weekly Renewal is brought to you by Calvo Select Care. Pop a day. I'm Claire Calvo bringing you your weekly renewal. Today I am here with two of my good friends, Mike Dunka and Roma Dunka, and they're here to share something really special that they've had going on for the past year, I guess. Healthy Options Guam. Welcome guys. Thank you. Thank you for, Thank you for being here. So yeah, let's get right into it. Tell me about Healthy Options Guam. <laughs> well, um, we started about roughly a year ago, mm -hmm. and um, what inspired us to actually do vegan meal prep was with you. <laughs> uh, well, not me, the 21 day the detox, 21 day right? Detox, yes. <laughs> and uh, so we pulled us on to that. Uh, prior to that, we were doing um, meal prep before, but they mm -hmm. weren't exactly vegan. So when we actually started doing vegan meals, we were a little concerned that we weren't able to. Uh, duplicate certain meals that people were used to. Right, make it delicious make yet it delicious. nutritious, yeah. Right. yeah. Yes, and, um, but once we got the roll up, you know, the swing of it, we ended up um, just kind of inventing what we wanted to do, mm -hmm. and we started to see that people liked our food, and, uh, and Roma, who's very, very creative. So you always say that home. she's the chef and you're the sous chef. I'm the yeah, sous right? chef, yes. <laughs> I'm the chef, and he's mostly um, telling everyone I'm the dishwasher. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the shopper, right? And the shopper, yeah. Yeah. So Roma, like share, give us an idea of some of the different um, creations, some of the meals that you make. I agree. Yeah. Okay, so, so I started before the 21 days. Okay. I did um, the salad, mm -hmm. and then everybody was like, can you just do that every time? And then I said, you know, that's my, my best seller, the very, uh, very mixed berry salad. That's your best seller? Yes, that's my best seller. Okay. And then all the, all everything is fresh, mm -hmm. and then even the dressing is fresh. So I do. It depends, like mostly same tahini, and then the frozen uh, uh, fruits. Yeah. Frozen fruits or yes. fresh fruits. Okay. Yes. Or so fresh fruits depends if we have it or if we don't have it frozen. And so even before you're preparing these meals, vegan specific meals, you were also you're already preparing. Regular. regular. Yes. So were you able to convert any of those? Because you know a lot of times, especially around the holidays, right, there's going to be more fiestas yes. and whatnot. What are some meals that you've made before that you were able to actually transform into like a vegan version? Are there any? Um, yes. So that's the, so the meat is actually like, for example, the salmon. Yeah. I do um, um, the tofu. So okay. I and then for some of the you make a meatloaf meat too, loaf, right? Yeah, the meat, yeah, that's right. The meatloaf. I use that. Most of them ever be like, "Are you sure there's?" No <laughs> I'm like, "Yes, I'm going to I'm hundred percent sure." And then yeah, so. So what kind of response have you all gotten? I mean, I, I, have you seen a trend of more people? Of course, you know you promote it primarily on social media, uh -huh. but have you seen it grow? Well, I was quite shocked about the number of people on Guam who actually like vegan mm -hmm. and. Um, me myself, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a big meat eater, mm -hmm. and I didn't think tofu or beans or anything else would be able to cut it. Yeah. And so, to answer your earlier question as well, prior to um, doing these vegan meal preps, we were actually making some Filipino dishes, mm -hmm. and um, one of them is called puto pao. So, a few of the Filipino community out there knows that. Is it like potu? So it's like potu, but it's mm -hmm. got like a filling inside, inside. like shupao. Oh, shupa. okay, okay. So normally we would do it with chicken or pork. And then people started asking if we could do it vegan style. Wow. And I didn't know how that was going to work. And um, it's amazing when you go to the grocery store that you just see all these products that are mm -hmm. catered to vegans out there. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's so really, honestly, when I first moved back, moved back in 2004, you didn't see the amount of what's available now. Like right. it, it has really been, I would say, just even just the past five, 10 years, you've really seen it grow. Correct. That section. And so that, you know, with that and you know, it's kind of funny because when we were discussing about making vegan meals, I would just tell her, well, what do we like to eat? And let's just make it vegan. Right. Let's just change it to vegan. Okay. And and um, 
you know, we tweak. I'm not gonna lie, we don't have uh, exact measurements of what we use. We just kind of <laughs> taste it. I am also the taste test guy, here, so <laughs> it goes through me. I'm quality control. And, um, uh, but you know, in the end, it always comes out to be exactly how we, we like it. Beautiful. So, I love that, right. and that's what's gonna keep you guys getting more and more having that mentality. Really, I feel is important, Correct. especially. Yeah. In we all want it for the greater good of our, our island, right? Yeah, indeed. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having us here. Thank you all. Thank I'll you. see you next time on your weekly renewal. Thank you. Weekly renewal is brought to you by Calvo Select Care. All right, everybody. That is going to do it for our show. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.